It's a Lake Cretaceous, and danger lurks behind every corner. Of course, you got the T-Rex, the largest land predator of all time. But that's not all. With giant territorial herbivores, the risk of being trampled or impaled is just as great as being eaten. And if you want to avoid all of this, then there's only one solution, and that's to turn into a rock. Welcome to How To, and this is How To and Kylosaurus. This animal is one of the toughest to ever walk the earth. Yet, it was much smaller in stature when compared to other animals like Triceratops, as it measured about 20 to 30 feet in length, but only about 6 feet tall. Fortunately, what you'll lack in size, you'll make up for in weight, because when compared to that same Triceratops, you can actually weigh more, reaching sizes of about 6 to 8 tons. This is because of your many adaptations that turn you into more of a living tank than a living animal. Much of your body is going to be covered in these thick layers of dense interlocking osteoderms. Osteoderms are these bony plates embedded in the skin. Think of it like the tough hide of a crocodile or alligator, but yours are going to be much stronger and much thicker. Your body will pretty much be covered in this armor, to the point where not only will it be found on your back, sides, neck, head, and all these other places, but also your eyelids, giving you that extra bit of protection from maybe walking into plants or something. I genuinely don't know. As you might expect, tank-like armor makes you pretty damn heavy, so you're not going to be able to move that fast, leaving you very limited escape options. Actually, with a top speed of 6 miles per hour, you won't be able to escape anything. You're right, you're right. But in all honesty, it doesn't really matter anyways, because this armor is strong enough to withstand attacks from pretty much anything, which includes, but is not limited to, bites from a T-Rex, scratches from a Dakota Raptor, as well as pinches. But what wraps all this together perfectly is your broad body. Because you're wider than you are tall, it's really tough for a predator to be able to get a grip when trying to bite you. These small features make a world of difference and accumulate into making you the tankiest animal to ever live. But don't think it's all sunshine and rainbows. You do have some weak spots it's worth mentioning. First, your head. While it is covered in the same armor that protects your body, it's just not as broad. This means it'll be a lot easier for a predator to get a bite on it and with enough ripping and pulling, your head probably could just pop right off. But by far the biggest weakness is that you have one spot that isn't covered in any armor, and that's your stomach. This is where your body shape once again comes in to save the day. Because you're low slung, you're built to stay grounded. When threatened, you can just drop down and use your robust limbs and massive weight to avoid being overturned. Not to mention, because you're so much closer to the ground, you're closer to the food. This allows your neck to be smaller and minimizes the chances of taking a critical hit while still being able to eat freely. Speaking about that, maybe the reason your body is wider than it is tall is for eating and digesting food. Here's kind of how it goes. You'll grab some ferns with your beak, then chew it with your leaf-shaped teeth. Yes, leaf-shaped teeth. Then you'll send all that down to your massive and complex stomachs, where the process of fermentation will break it up even further. This is a process you'll get to know very well, seeing how you're gonna have to eat upwards of 150 pounds of food daily. Overall, this armor and body shape work hand in hand, the armor allows you to digest all that food, and digesting all that food allows you to grow all that armor. But there's one more thing about the Ankylosaurus that might make it a little too overpowered, and that's your gigantic tail club. The Ankylosaurus was just one species in a family of animals that were around for nearly 100 million years called the Ankylosaurus. Not every member had tail clubs. Actually, it was more rare to have them. Most notably were the Notosaurids, your evolutionary brothers. Instead, they spec in a larger osteoderms that would allow them to grow spikes around their body. The most striking example of this comes from what many call the best preserved dinosaur of all time, the 112 million year fossil of Boreal Pelta Mark Micheli, in which it is clearly seen having large pointy osteoderms all the way down their back with giant spikes on their sides. These animals had a much different strategy than you, which is no less awesome, but certainly less deadly. Because your tail club is a 50 pound lump of fused bone that is made out of the same osteoderms that cover your body. Because unlike those, it isn't just a defensive feature. Measuring nearly 2 feet across, this massive club was a devastating offensive weapon that could be swung in a 100 degree range of motion with a force of up to 4800 newtons per second, which is more powerful than a professional baseball player. Ow! This is only possible because of a network of muscles and ossified tendons that give your tail its strength and rigidity, making it one of the most powerful weapons in the entire animal kingdom, easily being able to shatter the bones of any threat that comes your way, especially the legs of giant theropods. One single hit would almost certainly be fatal, but there is one animal that you'll have to hit that can withstand those blows, and that's other ankylosauruses. 
Certain species have been found with impact marks on their osteoderms from other tail clubs, meaning you'll be fighting other members of your species for mating, dominance, whatever your heart really desires. This is probably the most danger you're going to be in as an adult, because in all honesty, an adult Ankylosaurus is too dangerous for any predator, even a T-Rex. The combination of a giant shield and giant club is pretty overpowered, but there are other points in your life where things will be much more dangerous. Immediately after spawning, you'll notice everything that makes you overpowered is missing. Neither your tail club nor your armor is fully formed. Therefore, you're extremely vulnerable to predation, not even just from a T-Rex, but basically anything you run into. This is going to be the hardest stage of your life and where most other members of your species are going to die. Because you're maybe a few feet long, you can't rely on your signature brute strength. Instead, stealth and agility will be your ticket to survival. The best strategy is to find a group of other young Ankylosaurus and just stick by them. This will decrease your odds of being singled out. Remember, if a predator comes, you don't have to run faster than them, just faster than the slowest member of your group. Luckily, this stage of life only lasts a few years, because you do go pretty quick, but that too brings its own set of unique dangers. So while you're getting bigger, so do all the other members of your group, making them increasingly dangerous, not just to others, but to you as well. And you gotta be careful around other Ankylosaurus, because it doesn't take much to spook them. This stems from the fact that your brain is pretty small even compared to other dinosaurs. In short, the same way your body's like a rock, so is your brain. So this means a hit from another Ankylosaurus tail club could really come at any moment. Remember how I said you'll be getting into fights? Well, this is where they start, and a lot of them will be fatal. We've actually found one Ankylosaurus species with a bashed in skull from what seems to be another tail club. That's why as you age and get bigger, sticking together will actually be more dangerous than going out alone. This is why you'll slowly need to drift apart from your group, to the point where once you reach adulthood that you'll just be a solitary creature. It's at this point you've made it as an Ankylosaurus. Best guess is you survive to be around 50 to 70 years old, but some people have even estimated you could live to be up to 150. This is the life of one of the most powerful dinosaurs to ever exist. The only animal that could really rival this defensive force is Triceratops, which I just made a how-to video on if you want to check that out. But that's your life and I hope this guide helps. Whoa, I almost forgot to mention, your biggest weakness are asteroids. Don't ask me why that's the case, it just is. But I guess it really shouldn't be too big of a worry, because when the hell did asteroids even hit Earth anyways? Well, anyways, thank you all for watching, go check out my other videos, and Jehona out.